guys, it's your girl, it's Tisa's. How are you guys doing today? I'm here today with another collective reading for fire signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. These ones could be for you or the cross watcher. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. For personal bookings, you can email me, what's Tisa's222 at gmail.com. I would love to get into your personal situations from there. I probably said that really fast, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, fire signs. I didn't hear you say what your personal reading. I said personal. Oops. See, I've been doing so many personals. I'm here today with your collective reading. <laughs> I know I've been going for a while, you guys, but you guys know what happened. It's okay. I don't have to explain myself. So, I'm here today with fire signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I already shuffled my cards, blessed my cards, and blessed my reading. Let's hop into the reading of the tarot, whatever. All right, you guys. So, I pulled four oracle cards from my oracle deck. The first oracle card that I pulled for fire signs is money, 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 money. I start hearing that song when I pulled this card. So, I feel like here that fire signs, you are getting a lot of money. I'm hearing a lot of affirmations are being made or your checklist. I'm hearing you, you're checking the bag and you're checking it twice. So, it means like double confirmation, double money, um, double the blessings. I feel like there's a double of something or triple. Take it how it resonates. Then we got broken foundations coming out. When I pulled this card, I feel like that you and someone else, or take this how it resonates, you or some you or someone else or someone else and another someone else is having a um faulty situation right now. I'm hearing this was built on the Legos. <laughs> it was built on Legos, a foundation of yours or someone else's. You could just be in the middle of this foundation, take it how it resonates. I feel like um, that it could have something to do with karma camellia. This is my karmic card out here. So a karmic, a karmic person could be involved or you could be this individual or this could be someone else. I feel like there is a faulty relationship with some with you or either someone else. And then we got divine masculine, divine feminine in reverse coming out. Now I was also hearing um, understanding and I was also hearing unstoppable. So I feel like here that people there, they are trying to stop you, but they cannot. And when I was hearing unstoppable, I was hearing Aries. So Aries, this could be you. People could be trying to stop you from making money or doing something or creating something, but they cannot. Or this is someone else just trying to do this. Um, and I was also hearing um, faulty. Faulty, unstoppable. And I, I, just, I just said something else. I forgot that quick. But anyways, you guys, let's see what's happening for the mid-month of April. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's clarify um, money, 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 money. We just saw the Ace of Swords universe coming out. Be aware of someone not telling the truth or telling a lie. Clarify money, 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 please. We got the Seven of Swords in reverse coming out. Yeah, I'm hearing fraud. Be aware of a fraudulent person around you, Fire Signs. We got the Four of Wands in reverse coming out. This could be towards a relationship, definitely. Four of Wands in reverse coming out with the Five of Wands in reverse coming out with the Eight of Cups coming out. It, it, it either could be someone out here lying or this could be a situation, uh, fire signs, where you left someone or you left someone behind or they left you behind and someone here just went on into, to live a better life is what I'm seeing here with the five of wands being first. I'm hearing that someone here doesn't want to argue with someone. I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. I don't care to be in no competition with you. If we done, we done. Yeah, with the four of wands being first and the five of wands being first. Definitely. It's like, I don't want to argue, fight, be in competition with you. You move on. I move on. And that's what happened. That's why I feel like yeah, someone here start making hella money after this, or someone here got hurt by someone else. Seven of Swords reverse coming out. That could be some past energy out there. Someone here got hurt by someone else, and then after this hurt, they just start making hella money. Yeah, journey at the bottom of the deck out here. Yeah, someone here went on their life path, their journey after this happened. Yeah, frivolity. This is my um free like a free like um that's my free spirit card. Um, uh, fly like a bird, free spirit out there. Um, this person they could do whatever they want to do now. This could be you or someone else. Aries, I'm sorry, <laughs> look, Aries, fire sign, put on the five of wands in reverse. <sighs> We got consistency with Lord. Yeah, someone's, um, God is blocking someone from all the um, bullshit, basically. Like, they're blocking this person from the bullshit with Lord out here and consistency. I feel like that someone here is on God's pathway, God's, um, I'm hearing a life path number. Life path number could either be three or eight. It could even be five. Take it how it resonates. But yeah, I feel like that God is protecting someone out here. Someone here was betrayed, abandoned, left confused or something like that. Um, so Someone here tried this try to disrupt God's child's peace. Oh wow. Okay, so this is really strong. Yeah, love at the bottom of the deck right here. Yes, love coming out. God loves you. 
oh wow this your ancestors love you your spirit guides love you god loves you i'm hearing here that you are getting some prosperity you are getting something that was owed to you fire signs this was owed to you after someone here betrayed you backstabbed you backdoored you left you hanging left you confused this was owed to you so you're gonna get this back um you're being protected from all I'm here in a disruptive manner or a, some, someone here being disruptive to your life path. You're being, um, I'm hearing either cured from that. Like people that used to be in your life are no longer in your life. So that, that is a cure. Like you're being cured from that or you're being protected from that. Then we got the two of wands in verse coming out. Yeah, these people just think that you disappeared. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. People either think that you disappear, you don't fuck with them no more, or something like that, uh, fire signs, take it how it resonates, or some, or this happened in someone else's life, I get a lot of fire out here, though, it's a lot of fire out here, so I feel like this is you, fire signs, give me more for, um, double that, money, 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 double that, blessings, I feel like that you're being blessed, I really do, we got the queen of swords coming out, yeah, um, think hard, but don't think long. I feel like you're, that you made the right move when it came to something. When someone here betrayed you, bamboozled you, backdoored you, you made the right move to focus on yourself. And since you did that, you're getting blessed because of it. Yeah, you're not paying attention to someone. We got the Ten of Swords reverse coming out here. Now, usually my Ten of Swords is a situation that could come back around. I feel like you're, that you already learned this lesson, though. Yeah, with judgment coming out. Yeah. I feel like you're that uh, fire signs. You already learned this lesson. Like, something could be trying to come back around. And so you like, you thinking hard, but you ain't thinking long. And it's like, you're probably like, you know, I've been getting blessed so much without this person or this thing in my life. Why would I go back? That could be the situation out there. Or be aware of this person coming back because they see this. Yeah. They hating outside the club. Somebody out here is hated outside the club and they cannot get in. Nine of Wands, the Sun card. Yeah, they hating outside the club. They can't get in. <laughs> yeah, look at you now. Yeah, somebody played Chris Brown, Lil Wayne, Busta Rhymes. Look at you now. You getting paper. Yeah, you getting, you getting that coin. You getting that money. It's no ifs, ands, buts about it. I like it. <laughs> I really like it. Um, somebody out here, hey, I told you that someone here wanted to um, stop you, but you're unstoppable. Uh, fire signs, nothing nothing is going to stop you. This person, they can't stop you. They're outside of the club. They cannot even get into your blessings. They can't. Yeah, doctor out here. Somebody out here is trying to um, act like they need you for something or you're acting this way. This is a motherfucker that make up some motherfucking sickness and, you know, all this. I be telling y'all about that bullshit. When people act like they need you or they so hurt without you, with doctor out here and child, this could be your baby daddy or your baby mama that's doing this to you. Saying, oh, I just want to see the baby or some shit like that. Yeah, with room out here. How does motherfucker get in your room? Yeah, how he get in your room? <laughs> be aware of this. Be aware of, um, of something or someone trying to come back. If this is a man or a woman, this person, they're trying to get back into your good graces. But I don't like how they slipped into it up, in, up in your room. Yeah, with my lady out here. Yeah, with divine feminine. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Be aware of that. <laughs> Especially if you had like a child with this person or something like that. Because I see this little boy right here. It's a baby right there with the sun card. And it's a baby right here with this child card. So you can have a, ch a child with this person. Be aware of someone trying to get back into your good graces. A man or a woman. They coming right to your bed. Somebody trying to have sex with you. Then we got my lady out here with divine feminine. Divine feminine, I feel like that this is you. Somebody here wants to start over with you. But you're unstoppable. I feel like you're that you won. Honestly, you getting all this money, you getting blessed times 10. God is on your side. I feel like people are people that are no longer needed are not supposed to be around. That's how I feel here. I feel like here that you're living the best life. Somebody play Cardi B. I'm living my best life. That's how it feels here. Made a couple M's or thousands. Take it how it resonates. That's how I feel though. Let's move on. Let's clarify broken foundations. Clarify broken foundations for uh, fire signs. We got the full in reverse. Okay. With the four of cups. So, yeah, some of you are trying to still figure out this relationship shit. I really do. Yeah, with the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck in reverse. Some of you are still kind of... Um, and a mental imprisonment about some situation or relationship. This could be a child's mother or a child's father. I actually do see some children out here. And if it's not a situation where you, where you two have children, it could be longevity. Because we got the full in reverse up here with the four of cups here. Someone here is trying to figure out. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're either trying to take a leap of faith with you or this is you that's trying to figure this out. It's a source in reverse. Somebody here isn't being honest with themselves. We got the star card out here with the death out here. Six of swords in reverse. 
with the Ace of Cups. Fire signs, be aware of um, not realizing that your 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 real blessings come from you being wise with this Ace of Swords in reverse out here. You're the Queen of Swords. Usually you could be the Queen of Wands, but in this situation, you are the Queen of Swords. You're thinking hard, but you're not thinking long. I feel like you're that with this situation, you need to think long. I feel like you're that you need to think for the long run, from lo for longevity. This could be with anything, but I feel like it's a relationship but if it was money you need to found, figure out a long way to save your money uh reproduce with your money or something like that we got the star card right here with the death card and the ace of cups with the six of swords reverse out here i feel like you're that um it could be something with someone here is like, oh, I have to do this for the kids or I have to stay with this person for the kids but I feel like be aware if someone here isn't um wanting to create what you create Let's say that this person, you could be, oh, thank you, breadwinner, breadwinner. If someone here isn't a breadwinner like you, even though it's not all about money, but if they're not bringing their side to the table, yeah, six of wands out here, then you have to keep going forward. Be aware of that. Someone here is saying that, like, I, I have to stay with this person for kids or for money or, fi or for finances or to look a certain way or to create a certain, a certain image. That's not true. Yeah, the emperor in reverse out here. Yeah, someone here isn't, um, they either, they either don't take responsibility, they either don't hold up their end of the bargain, or they either don't reproduce what you reproduce, and that could be in materialistic wise. Take your high resonates, but someone here doesn't do that. Be aware of um, staying stuck for this individual. Yeah, the world card coming out here. Whatever foundation that this is, it's feel like it's wrapped up. This is a wrapped up cycle. Yeah, seven of wands reversed. That's not fighting for something. So be aware of, um... I would say be aware of both things. Be aware, of, only you will know. Be aware of not fighting for something and be aware of holding on to something that does not need any more fighting for. If someone here doesn't want to hold up their end of the bargain or, you know, uh, or continually giving you the short end of the stick, be aware of continue, continuing with this person. I can't talk today. <laughs> I think it's because it's a new moon. I know sometimes new moons get me stuttering. Yeah, cherry and reverse coming out. Yeah, it, this could be a water sign, an Aries. I got Cancer out here, Pisces, Aries, with the Queen of Wands. There you are, fire signs. I feel like that you're going to make something stop or you're going to make something end. Some here is going to try to come back, but now you have to, to, to decide if you want to take them back. <laughs> yeah, with the side card coming out. I feel like that you haven't talked to this person in a long time or the vibes have been off between the two of you. Pull on the Six of Wands with the Emperor and Reverse. <laughs> We got prison card coming out. Mm -hmm. Somebody here is definitely in a mental imprisonment about an emperor or emperor is in a mental imprisonment about you. And we got hope out here. Someone here is hoping that you take them back, praying that you take them back, or this is you. Someone here is coming towards an emperor or emperor is coming towards you. But someone here doesn't hold up their end of the stick or they're not honest. Ace of Swords may burst out here. Either one of those. Either they're not honest and this is a cycle or someone here doesn't hold up their end of the bargain and this is a cycle. Pull on the Queen of Wands with the Cherry in reverse. We got falseness coming out. Yeah, definitely. Be aware this person coming back to tell you lies or to tell you something that's not true or not be honest or not be fair. And we got the gift coming out here with Constellation and Pleasure Seekers. Yeah. Queen of Wands, you can have a new situation. <clears throat> oh, my throat hit. Hold on. Okay. Queen of Wands, you can have a new situation. Be aware of someone that's new in your life, whether that's a relationship or a friendship, coming in to tell you some false things about another individual with pleasure seekers out here. Someone out here starting shit with false, false rumors or false lies. Be aware of that. <clears throat> Let's move on. Let's move on to Karmic Camellia. <laughs> Karmic Camellia. <clears throat> Clarify karma, karma Camellia, please. So I'm going to rise and Venus for fire signs. You got this one coming out. We got the two of swords reverse coming out. That's the decision is already made up. So someone here has made up their mind about something or someone. And we got the ace of wands reverse. Okay, so this person, whoever this person is was who was with a third party does not want to have sex with this third party anymore. With the ace of wands reverse, the spark has died with some third party. 
So this could be someone that lied about someone else or some shit like that. You know how third parties go. Ace of Wands and Reverse coming out. Someone here doesn't want to have sex with a third party no more. Or someone here doesn't even like the third party anymore. Yeah. King of Cups and Reverse coming out. That's um emotionally unavailable. Wow. So someone here completely switched up on the karmic out here. They completely switched up on the carpet and that, yeah, look, Widower coming out, definitely. They switched up on the carpet and now they want to come back to you. So be aware of this. Or, oh, wow. Because that could be a, um, that could bring a case of karma. Someone out here breaking someone else's heart and then coming to lay up on the you. Be aware of that. And we got hottiness out here. Yeah, this is, this is a karmic individual that thought that she was all that, that she was wifey. Yeah, that's what I'm getting out here. Definitely. So this person, they're coming back to you after they dumped the karmic or they don't want to have sex with a karmic no more or her pussy game not like yours. It's something with the Ace of Wands reverse coming out. We got the Ace of Pentacles, the Moon reverse with the lovers coming out here. So yeah, this, this um, individual that wants to come back to you they've been thinking about you the whole time they was with this karmic person it was a secret though with the moon in reverse coming out it's the pinnacles they've been thinking about offering you this offer since they've been with this karmic person with the lovers gemini energy i got gemini cancer taurus virgo capricorn yeah with conversation they've been talking to friends and family about this talking to friends and family about having a reunion with you yeah it's, it was a secret though. Someone here wants a secret connection with you, or they or they had a secret connection with you while they were with this karmic. This karmic, they either just now found this out, <laughs> either this karmic just now found this out, or this karmic will find this out because I feel like you're that someone here. This karmic is waiting to see this divine masculine with you. That's why I feel like that's happening here. Okay, so yeah, be aware of this, you guys. It feels like like a um a reconciliation energy. But the thing about it, I don't like the way that this person is going about it. Look at the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck is the devil card. I don't like the way that this person is going about it. It's like they're trying to fix the situation with temperance out here. That's spiritual healing. But it's like it's coming out with the devil. I feel like that if this comes to stalking, this comes to page watching and, and, and all that other bullshit where it's like, oh, did she put a spell on me and all that other fuck shit? That's what this comes to. So be aware of that. With the two of cups out here and the eight of pentacles reverse. Yeah, it comes to this karmic not wanting this situation to work out and her trying everything in her power to ruin it that's what it comes to or it comes to another third party situation uh because this pleasure seekers card with falseness out here that's third party um that's third party a third party situation out there with the queen of wands be aware aries leo sash that someone here wants to involve you in a third party or wants you to be a third party yeah merchant out here that's the dirty motherfucker yeah yeah <laughs> be aware of that fire signs Let's move on. Let's clarify divine masculine, divine feminine. Up in reverse. That means these two people here aren't talking or aren't in communication. Just broke up, ignoring each other, taking how it resonates or on different wavelengths. They're not seeing eye to eye. <laughs> Let's see for divine masculine, divine feminine. For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The high priest is coming out. I got a lot of cancer out here. I got a lot of cancer, Pisces. A lot of water and a lot of fire out here. Give me one for the high priestess. Then we got the eight of swords coming out here. I don't like that it is source with the high priestess. Because usually yeah, with the star card out here, usually that means the high priestess, she's on point. Yeah, this is what I mean, y'all. Some of you are trying to affect your um, psychic ability. Some of you are out here trying to um, lock you up in some Africa dapper spell. That, be aware of that. Because the Eight of Swords out here with the Star card makes you feel like um, pills and potions were overdosed, if you know what I mean. That's what it feels like. Some of you are going to start doing this because they don't want you to be with some man or some woman. It could be a divine master or it could be a divine feminine. But divine feminine, I feel like you're that some divine master or take this how it resonates. Someone here wants to come back to you, right? You could be in a mental imprisonment of about this because I don't know if you want to be with this person again or like I said they just tell you a whole bunch of bullshit seven of cups reverse that could be the case out here but I feel like that this person they either they either have a third party is married or was married and they want to come to you that's gonna cause some confusion yeah three of pentacles reverse with the five of swords it's gonna cause lack and misfortune inside the connection and in, in the beginning of this read fire signs you were doing really really good you was getting money times two um god was out here blessing you times two be aware of be, getting back with someone is like it goes downhill three of pentacles reverse coming out with the five of swords reverse coming out 
That's um, liar, cheater, sneaker, thief, selfishness with um, a lack of something, a lack of emotion, a lack of income, a lack of empathy. Take your hat, resonates. Be aware of this. It gets you back into the mental imprisonment that you once were in when you was with this person, basically. Whatever situa situation that this could be, rather it's divine masculine, divine feminine, or a soulmate, take it how it resonates, or twin flame, because I feel like those could be different different things, right? Yeah, Empress coming out with the four swords. Whatever situation that this could be, this was a cycle that either you dis defeated once, it was a cycle that you either defeated once, or you're going to have to defeat again. The Empress with the four swords out here, someone here wants to to get you stuck and they can want to get you stuck because they feel as if you're moving on without them or you're doing better in life hermit card bottom of the deck yes be aware of this let's clarify clarify the empress with the four swords and the hermit yeah, we got a house coming out. Yeah, you could have got a new house, a new car, a new home, um, new money. Like I said, new, all new everything. It's all new everything. Either someone here wants to live with you. I feel like it's an undercover motive. I don't like this falseness out here with this queen of wands. Either this is you or this is someone here trying to do this to you. It's an undercover motive out here. It's like this person that either in a situation, had a situation, or broke that situation's heart and they come here directly to you. It, it gives me... um. What's that word? Fish telling. <laughs> Grabbing something, keep keeping it for yourself. Selfishness. That's what it's giving me. Or they either don't want anyone else to have you. But, you know, it's all up to you. Put on the star card. Yeah, with Scholar out here. This is a um, watching card. Either you're watching this Divine Masculine or they're watching you. Or you're watching this Divine Feminine or she's watching you. This is Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine up here with the High Priestess, Eight of Swords, Star card, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Money card coming out. Look! That high priestess, scholar, misfortune at the bottom of the deck, I feel like that someone here is going to try to ruin your life. <laughs> I do, fire signs. Be aware of this. They only come back because you wipe, you wipe me on. I'm on. Wipe me down. That's why they're coming back. Because you on wipe them down. That's really, that's true. That's why. Anyways, fire signs, that has been your reading. It's your girl with Tistas. Make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys a lot. Bye.